Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another review, this time for Takara Tomi's Transformer Masterpiece MP26 Cybertron Ground Air Combatant Road Rage. Alright, so I just got a uh, Road Rage today from uh, Robo Robo, it's a uh, toy retail shop in Singapore. So, Alright, so this is the box out of Road Rage, alright, robot mode, vehicle mode, and you see the back of the box art. and. Uh, as per all Asia exclusive, if you buy uh, locally, uh, you buy Asia exclusive, you get actually a coin. This is actually a very cool looking coin. So you can transform sort of uh, into a jet mode, and you see the coin of Road Rage. So the coin of Road Rage is interesting because I think it's one of the few um, bronze or pewter color coins. So it's very, very nice, and uh, really love it. And it comes with this uh, nice uh, bio card, alright, of Road Rage in action vehicle, jet uh, jet vehicle in a uh, robot mode. So without further ado, here is Road Rage. Yes, very nice, vibrant, red uh, Corvette. Really love it. Like the uh, red color on this uh, vehicle. Very, very nice. And it comes with a um, sound blaster, right? Uh, no human figure this time around, but it comes with a very big gun, okay? Very big gun, and there's also no, uh, what do you call it? No stand, yes, it doesn't come with a stand either, but it's really cool. Uh, vehicle wise, very nice, simply love it. Um, so, to transform it into its jet mode, and you just need to lift up the wings over here, shift them over to the back, okay, then you pull down this portion that's hands, okay, and then you uh, loosen the bonnet portion. So, first you extend this totally. So as per my previous video review, just to make sure this is, uh, you don't strain this part, you hold it as close as possible before you stretch it all the way front. So once you stretch it all the way front, you tap it one notch down over here, right? Tap it one notch down, okay, then straighten the arm over here, straighten the arm over here, alright. So for this portion, pack this at an angle in, bottom first, alright, in, similarly for the other side. Pat this at the bottom in, okay, and then press it, okay. Once you get it in place, you can actually align the arm accordingly, okay. Make it parallel. Uh, let me just align it so that it looks parallel. Okay, okay, cool. I got it more or less done over here. Oops. So anyway, this time this thing actually pops out quite easily. Uh, but no worries, you can just pop it back in. So next thing what you want to do is actually want to uh, get the missiles down. So these two uh, rocket, these two mini missiles down, just rotate this. Okay, get this down. Okay, all the way down over here. Okay, once it's down, you would actually rotate this part of the missile. Rotate all this middle missile, alright, shift it back over here. And over here you'll push the wings out as well. Okay, at the back, at the bottom, just push the wings out. Okay, do the same for the other side. Just push the wings out. Okay, lift that up. Okay, cool. So once you're done with all this, you will pack this back at the back. Pack it in nicely. Okay, let me just adjust the missiles to make sure they're aligned uh, nicely. Okay, adjust the wings. And there you have the jet mode of Road Rage. Cool. Really, really nice. And uh, you can actually insert the uh, laser in front as well. Okay, in the front part. Okay. And for the gun, all you need to do is just to flip this um, handle downwards. Okay, and you get this point, and this fits into this part over here. So this part is actually the part whereby you actually fit in the stand for tracks to be in its uh, jet form. Uh, similarly, this gun can also fit in the track as well. So you see this massive gun is at the bottom. Um, some articulation, you can actually move the gun a little bit and uh, have it shoot up or down. But probably that's about it. Alright. Oh, and just uh, another feature just to showcase the engine. So you can actually see the engine portion of uh, Road Rush as well. It's very cool. Very nice uh, metallic silver paint over here. Right. So I'm just going to flip this back. So it's handle. So right now I'm going to transform Road Rage into uh, her robot mode. So I'm going to flip the wings down, split this apart, 
Okay, I'm gonna lift this portion up. Okay. Okay. Alright. Just gonna rotate it first. Flip it all the way up. Okay, for the side. I'll align the missiles. Okay, let's go for straight for the time being. Alright. Over here. Release the doors. Pull this out. Okay, shift this part upwards. As you shift upwards, you will get a head out. And over here, you will flip this. You see the all about logo over here. Okay, and over here. Shift. Okay, move this pipe down, down. Move this up. Move this up. All right. And this uh, white pack over here goes into. Over here, this part over here, so it locks into place for both sides. Great. Okay. So I might as well do the arm since I'm at it. So you flip this downwards, rotate 90 degrees, rotate 180 degrees, and there you have the fist. 90 degrees down, and then 90 degrees down, 180 degrees rotation, there you have the other hand. So both arms are done in a stitch, alright? So at the back, what you need to do just to um, flip open this. So in for the other side. Okay, let's move to the back. Okay. This red tab here will tap into this portion over here, this gap over here. So just tap it in. Alright, you hear a tap sound. Similarly for the other side. Just move it in. Tap it and you're done. And over for the top portion. Okay, let me get the hands out of the way first. You hook this part into this part. Okay, so for both sides, you hook it and you're done. Okay, so here, um, the top body is actually done. So what you do for the bottom part, just uh, rotate 180 degrees. So we hear how you're gonna split the legs apart. Okay, for the first time you're gonna split this part, you're gonna it's gonna take quite a bit of strength, but basically you split it apart like you split a kick cat. You know, just snap it. And then there you go. So once you've done that, okay, pull this outwards. Okay. Okay, it's a bit tight. Okay, let me do it for the other side first. Just pull this outwards. Alright. Rotate it downwards and as you do, get the feet out. Okay. For this portion, you should rotate it. Okay, before that, you need to shift this portion downwards, outwards. Okay, then you shift this in. Okay, and you rotate. Let's you rotate. Okay, there's a black part that will actually tap over here. So, once you rotate it nicely, you can actually tap it in. You can hear a tap sound over here. Tap it in, feet, here rotate downwards, one click, and you have one leg done. Alright, so for the other leg, just um, pull this portion outwards first. Okay, let's get a little tight, this time round. Okay, got it outwards. Okay, so it was really tight, but now I got it. So out it goes, okay, and then you rotate the feet downwards, all the way to the end, the black pack all the way to the end over here okay and so over here you will flip this portion okay first you get this out of the way okay, flip it downwards rotate all the way over here okay tap the black part in let me see if I tap it in nicely. Okay, I need to actually first get this in. So I need to rotate this portion first. Okay. Let's rotate it. Okay, done. And you can tap the black part in. Oh, okay, that's how it works. So basically, okay, just to do a little bit of reversal. Okay, so you first need to rotate this portion. Okay, once you get it down. You shift this and then you will actually catch the red part and tap it in. Oh, okay. So move this.
this part downwards. Okay. And you shift the arms downwards. Okay, let me see if I need to uh, shift the waist. Okay, no, and there you have road rage. Okay, let me adjust the legs a little bit, adjust the arms. Yes, and here you have road rage. Ta da! Cool. Just move her front a little bit. Okay, move her to the back a little bit. Raise the camera. Yep, here's road rage in robot mode. So, gun wise, uh, very cool. There's this pack over here, if you, um, you see under the light, this pack at the back. Okay, it fits into this hole over here. So you just need to align them nicely. And it taps in very nicely with a nice pop sound. And there you have a uh, Road Rage holding on to her weapon. Very cool. Alright, so this is Road Rage. Very nice uh, robot. Fanbot, yes, I think it's the first uh, masterpiece fanbot. If I recall correctly, yes, the first masterpiece fan board. And here we have uh, Road Rage together with tracks. Okay, so um, some subtle uh, comparisons. Okay, I'm going to put them side by side first. You can see the two of them basically is the same mode. Alright, so what's the difference is uh, obviously the head sculpt. Head sculpt is different. And for the ch chest component wise, this top part, you can see this white part over here, the molding. It's actually different from tracks, so which is good. They actually made some effort to make some differences for this. Similarly, for the waist, all right, you see tracks is this very hexagonal, squarish uh, waist uh, plate in front. Whereas for road rage, it's more of a nice uh, curvy cut. It's just uh, similar to like um, so. It's like it's a nice curvy cut, and it's a different sort of um, plate compared to tracks, which is cool. And thighs wise, you see the thighs of Road Rage are obviously slimmer compared to uh, Track and it's a totally different mode. Alright? So apart from that, the rest of the toy uh, of this figure is exactly the same. Alright, based on the same mode, you can see the backpack is exactly the same. The uh, back is exactly, exactly the same. Same for the flames and the logo, everything, missiles, everything. So apart from those I have listed and uh, the weapon and the fact that the uh, road rage doesn't come with a human partner so these two are the same but I, I really do like the fact that um, it's, a, it's a very cool looking figure first uh, fanbot and the fact that you know the limbs are slim really makes uh, her look appropriate as a female figure so tracks wise you know, uh, he is slim in the show as well so but thanks to the fact that his thighs his thighs are thicker so it doesn't make him look feminine whereas for road rage it's really cool you know especially if, with this nice um thin thighs looks really cool and it's really ratchet joints as well and initially i was worried that uh, because of the way the thighs are slimmer it might be fragile but actually it's not let me just show you guys over here so over here you see the joint over here is actually quite thick so there's no no uh, cause for concern. So look at the uh, tracks as well. You can see the joint is actually pretty thick. Yeah. So you see the white part and the grey part is all pretty thick. So contrary to the earlier pictures where I saw where I thought that the this lower portion of the white is going to be very thin and hence fragile, it's actually not. It's actually quite thick. So good thing. Uh, so this means that this a uh, durable figure. Really, really cool. Uh, simply love it. No road rage, great addition to the masterpiece figure, and uh, I really miss the uh, e hobby road rage figure that I used to have. The based on the G one car. Uh, too bad I sold it off. Yes, and it's pretty expensive to buy buy back now. So I'll uh, live without it. So it's a very nice figure, and I recommend that you get it. So it's not a repaint. You know, it's basically a remo, and it's a very ex excellent remo, and a highly recommended piece. So here's Charles signing off with yet yeah, another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.